I think that Rudy Gobert caught a lot of freaking unnecessary and unneeded flack. And I don't view basketball the way some people view basketball. Basketball is a team sport. This whole thing that if Rudy Gobert is covering him, he's getting smoked. Yeah, he got smoked. He got smoked in many situations when he was being guarded, when he was guarding Joker. And none of the people that were talking nationally seemed to be watching what the shots that Joker was making. I mean, Joker was making very, very difficult shots. He 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 threw some now off the backboard that I don't think anyone could make. Um, does that mean that Gobert could have done a better job? Probably more physical, but he's a little stiff, a little high, so he doesn't he doesn't get that underneath on 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 Joker that other that a guy like Cat can or Nas Reed can. And Nas Reed, Nas Reed blocked shots of of Joker, and remember Anthony Davis couldn't block Joker shots, so. I think that it was what I said in the beginning was that they have size. They have enough bodies to put his way. And then there came a point when they would collapse on Joker. And when Rudy Gobert hit that circus shot, it was like, oh, my God. Like, But now Gobert, I think he had a, a streak where he scored on possession after possession after possession. And that's humongous because he's not going to score. He's not. He's not expected to score. It's not his job. Your defense goes every. This is listen, listen, folks. This is the shit that I get into with Nick. Rudy Gobert is being crucified, right? He's being killed by national media by the things that he's not doing. But in games three, three, four, and five, he had the best plus minus on the entire team. And I know that what Nick's belief is that, or what he has said. So that doesn't matter. It's a team stat. Well, why is he getting crucified then when Cats plus minus was minus 44 in that three-game stretch? Ants was minus 39 in that three-game stretch. The only guy that was within, I mean, Rudy Gobert, when he's on the floor, they're better. They're better. I don't care if, he getting, if he's getting, so he was getting cooked, and yet they were still better than when he wasn't on the floor. What game what, what game was it? Was it game three or four? Four. It was four, four right? The it was game. four. Because they lost by eight, right? The game. game four. They sat Rudy Gobert. End of the first quarter. To about eight minutes to go in the second quarter. So he sat for about seven minutes. In that stretch, they got outscored 21-4. to four. I remember it very clearly because I'm watching this and I'm sitting here saying, when he was on the floor, they were plus nine. When he wasn't on the floor, they were minus 17. That stuff matters. And you know the funny thing is? Yesterday in the post-game interview, Anthony Edwards said all of us were plus on the plus minus in the starting five. He made a, he, he specifically pointed that out. So while people want to dismiss Rudy Gobert, and I am not a Rudy Gobert fan. Yes, you I, are. I think, I think he's the a, name Rudy. You, I think I, you are. <laughs> I, think, I think he's the biggest fucking whiner. I think he's a bit of a pussy. I, I just don't think it's fair how he's getting – how you have people like Draymond Green jumping on and, and Charles Barkley and who have all these clowns that are sitting here saying sit him. Charles Barkley said sit him in the yeah, second half. Yeah, he said it half He said sit him. Really, Charles? If that man does not play, they lose. They lose. They would have lost that game. I think they overreacted I, to that I, one play. But he, they, went, he wasn't but that great the, in the first but half. But they overreact he, constantly to him because – you 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 want him to do so many different things. I think you, you want, want him to guard Joker, but you want him to get back to contest Aaron Gordon. You want him to now. There are some where I'm sitting here saying, "Bro, you got to contest that." Rudy, I think but it's just he because contest, of, he, he has to. He's he's a seven foot, a seven foot two, <clears throat> and then he has to DP DPOY that's but, attached behind him four times. So well, that's why still, people. It doesn't change. That he's so, not a great defensive player. So he's still a great defensive player. No, he is a great defensive player. But great defensive that, player. That matchup that he's supposed to go against the person at his position. That, but and, but and Kat's it, a center too. Kat's he's a center. He's a he was drafted as a center. He's a seven foot center. No, I get that. What, what are we doing now? We're going to call seven footers power forwards because it's cute. He's a center. He was a center at, at Kentucky. Dirt he was a center a when he was drafted. He was a center. Hey, and now go ahead. Hey, go ahead. He was go. a center before Gobert got there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So I mean, I, like so, 
that's the point. You have multiple guys that can guard Joker. Yeah. And because you do, what do you have yesterday? Joker's fucking exhausted. Can't breathe. I never seen because it. because his coach never took him out for more than a minute in that game. He should have snuck him in. He should have. And his teammate, but his teammates couldn't score. Should have snuck him. Snuck him twenty-one minute. points. He scored twenty-one points. Besides, outside of Jamal Murray and fucking Joker, Man. like I, I just think that Rudy Gobert gets an unfair rap, and the dude's not perfect. I think the the the, the criticism he took for being in his kid's childbirth is insane. It's absolutely nuts. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Completely unfair. Completely unfair. You know, if those guys are shitty fathers, that's on them. <laughs> if they're shitty fathers, that's on them. I get that. Draymond Green talks about everybody. And Draymond Green is the greatest mediocre player of all time. The greatest mediocre player the of all time. The greatest that gets more pub and more love because he played with Three future Hall of Famers. Ben said that. Two who are who at the time were two of the top five players in the league. The greatest shooter ever, arguably the second or third greatest shooter ever. His entire career was predicated on having guys that he can literally hand the ball off to. What? It's because he gets to play four on three because of the best shooter of all time. And and he's standing thirty feet from the rim, Steph. So you have a. If you put Draymond Green in any other basketball team, they suck. Yes, he I sucks. I don't know he, why he like, feels that so much about he is, himself. His, when his he, ego is when he gets to deal with a four on three uh, every time. When he had Steph, when he had Clay Thompson on the left side, and then he probably had another shooter on the right side, and Iguodala over there also helping on his team with KD, mm-hmm. and, and Clay was out there on the wings when he got the ball on the four and three. So. For him to talk the way he talked, we both agree with, about this with, with Draymond Green. That, yeah, you benefited from playing with Steph Curry the whole career and Klay Thompson, who's arguably a top five. Well, not arguably. He's a top five shooter he's of all time. He's a top time, five shooter of all, all time, time, for and sure. And then you had another player who was a top 15 player of all the time join that team. Come on, now. Yeah. Draymond, pump the brakes a little bit when you go talk about other players and, 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 and the way you talk Real about talk. Rudy Gobert is better than Draymond Green. At this stage, he right is- Absolutely better than Draymond Green. He's absolutely 1,000% better than Draymond Green. When you look at their end of their careers, Draymond Green's a triple single right now. His career, eight points, seven rebounds, six assists. Yeah. Who the hell would we ever put in a Hall of Fame (laughs) who has those types of bullshit numbers? But this guy talks more shit about people on his podcast. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.